All right, let's take a look at the ambient light sensor demo LabVIEW project. I have the Digilent PMOD ALS connected to the SPI bus on connector B. And connector B also supplies 3.3 volts to the board. Here the ambient light sensor demo is operational. This is kind of a nominal value right now. I'm presently covering the sensor with my hand. We see the value dropping down to near zero. Next, I'll shine a flashlight on the sensor and we see that it hits its maximum value, or at least close to the maximum value of 255. I'll stop the VI so we can take a look at the block diagram in a little more detail. The conversion cycle begins by dropping the chip select. We do that with the digital output, and I'm using DIO0, and we wire that to a false constant to drop it low. The SPI Express VI reads a single frame. Take a look at the setup of the Express VI here. The Express VI could work with the SPI bus on either connector A or connector B. Here's a reminder of the specific pin numbers. We're reading values, and I'm using a moderate speed here of one megahertz. Frame length that we need is 16 bits, and here's the two options for clock phase and clock polarity. These are non-default values that need to be selected. The data direction is also most significant bit first. All right, taking a look at the results of the Express VI output, we see that it's an array of 16-bit unsigned integers. So I'll begin by using index array to pull off just that individual value, and then the extraneous bits can be removed using a logical shift to the right. Using a negative value that is negative five, that signifies we're doing a right shift. I then convert this into an unsigned 8-bit value using the conversion right here. Finally, that unsigned byte, I can send that back to the front panel display, and that's what's operating the dial gauge. We complete the conversion cycle by sending chip select high again, so we do that with a true constant. The sequence of events is handled by propagating the error cluster. We can break out of the loop either due to an error on any of those Express VIs or by pressing the stop button or pressing escape. That breaks us out of the while loop, passes through the simple error handler, and then executes a MyRio reset. The while loop is being paced right here, presently set up for 10 Hz sampling frequency.